archetype guys because um, uh, with Kenyatta one yes yeah he had his uh, his Mercedes Benz Pullman Pullman right it's 600 no matter where he was going yes i, I mean there's that classic picture uh, abstract no i'm sorry you you were you are a rumor but uh, <laughs> where it was it was harambe yes. it was in a muddy stretch of tarmac muddy stretch of tarmac Imagine. of road somewhere and then guys were pushing it yes and he was there with his two flag yes harambe to skume to skume you know remember that one, you <laughs> remember that one? That one. and then yeah. uh fast forward then we had uh nyayo Nyayo, yes. Yeah, I had his VW combi. Oh, he loved it. You remember? Front seat used to oh, go over oh, the oh, window. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then if it was that, then obviously there was also the Shindes. Of course. Right? He also, you, you know, and El Nyayo, also the Pullman was a thing. Of course. Right? And then came His Excellency Emilio Stanley Mwaiki Vake. With the Range. With the Range Rover. Okay. And, uh, but, bro, when he was preso, even him, was, he was just a Shinde guy. Did, did he have a 4x4? No, no, he used no, to no, have. He was a Shinde guy uh, most of the time uh, 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 because of his uh, two, two issues, yeah? Yes. But when he used to travel, he used to go with his Range Rover. He had a new Range Rover. Allah! Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay. So he loved yes. the range. And then he also, then, then he, also he, had, he did German. He went Beamer as well, ne? Yes, he had uh, the 7 Series. Was the also 7 there. Series, yes. Very nice moti. Right? I think even Jimmy Jam knows. The, he he yeah. has like a one there. Buzz. Yeah. <laughs> he'll tell us, he'll tell us. <laughs> and then when... We came to the fourth. Yes. That's when we started to see the basically the prolification yes. of the Toyota class. Yes. All right. Because even him, when you do a Yacht trip, he was uh, the Land Cruisers. Yes. Okay. And uh, obviously, he also had his, uh, but his S was not a Maybach, is it? No, no, I mean, no, it was a Maybach. It was a Maybach. Uh, it was a Maybach. It was a Maybach. Okay. So he used to have that. That used thing to is still packed inside there. Yeah. Okay. And, and then now he yeah. also had uh, for his private tours Bus. his two G. G. Yes. A black one, black yes. out. Yes. With some serious rims, I think they're like oh, 20s. Oh yeah. Yes. And he used to roll around in town with it. That that is G G's for G wagon. Yes. Not not G for my guy. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Trevor? So listen. So this is what we're discussing today. And by the way, and Trevor brings it up because also that's the other article. I mean, of all Trevor's articles are always, always, always. Uh, you know, you learn a lot. But it catch my attention because today, now on page twenty three, is Toyota unveils the twenty twenty four Land Cruiser. Prado. So uh, there's so many things about we could talk about that the Land Cruiser. So before we talk about the political class, brother, yes. let's talk, please, uh, because um, I'm sorry, just hold up your copy of the newspaper. So there, there, there we have it. It's Toyota unveils the 2024 Land Cruiser Prado, and I borrowed this from uh, one of our sister stations because abstract. You've got our copy, and uh, I asked the presenter in that station, and uh, he said, "You know what? It just he didn't read the article. Just looked at the picture." Is that it looks brilliant it looks unique but when uh, i look at them like hold on it looks kidogo familiar but not like a toyota prado what does it remind you of um kevin when you look at the brand new 2024 land cruiser prado bro actually i see a discovery in a trooper it's like a combination of the two it's an asana the trooper, Isuzu. 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 The trooper. yeah i don't think i've they, asked you this before they, the, front, still the front the troopers no so you know this the front this thing looks like a trooper yeah that one of 1994. no 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 this this one not not uh, and you and I'll you spent four days at the, at the motor show <laughs> <laughs> trev you you i think he meant i think he means uh grenadier <coughs> that new, one the new grenadier is that the one you talk about bro the grenadier uh a bit of that but I mean, uh, okay I'm for the one that and then it also looks and then you know the defender looks B E A beautiful. Oh, yeah. The looks don't grow on you. It is striking from the onset, and you're like, <sighs> rapture. Yes. Wow. You know? So tell us about, you were telling us about this, they call it controversial design. The controversial design. Talk to, okay, walk us through this, bro. What, yes. what are Toyota thinking? Because from the, from the, um, the, the, the Land Cruiser? Yes. Totally different look. Yeah. Then even this one, totally yeah, different. different. Are they being lazy because Land Rover are doing the same? What the damn? So at Toyota, there's a there's a, a wind of change within the organization, uh -huh. and and this one is actually being led by the chairman, who's uh -huh. called Mr. Toyota with a D. D. The grandson Allah, to yes, the person yes, who's the Toyota. Yes. And um, he asked the team, 
why do we continue to make bland cars? When I say bland, just imagine tea without sugar. I like that. Uh, no offense to anybody that take bus, sugar, bus, bus. but you know what I mean. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, it was like <laughs> you are seeing products coming in from other manufacturers. We were here before them, right. and they're succeeding. Right. Why? And the whole point was design. Mm. The only way you can latch a design shift is to create something controversial yes. and it's been done before mm. bmw have done it long minutes. by the way right yes. now it's called chris who it's called chris bango that guy even right now yeah most of the bmws look a little bit hideous with that you huge look grill. grill. Yes. it looks like a, mm, mm, uh like two rabbit's teeth I'm yeah mm, uh. I, I mean it's it's, <laughs> it's crazy we call it fuck them yeah, yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. And it's bigger and bigger and bigger yeah yeah for Toyota, they're like okay so we used to making bland because we are conservative right the japanese are conservative right, right. so they the, the the chairman sort of uh you know created some illusion of listen guys we need to make our brand stronger and different so they started it's a whole process five years ago they started with the Corolla Yaris that's been running around with Safari Rally. So, 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 oh, oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do you change your design team? That chief designer, yes. have they done that? What, what they do, they normally have design teams in the States, in Europe, yeah. and in Japan. Sharp, sharp. All right? Yeah. So, you find that if, if there's a new car that is targeting a different region, yeah. they tell the team that is responsible to design. But he changed that. Sharp. So, this design that you're seeing with the new uh, Land Cruiser Prado yes. is mostly designed in the States. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Most so designed in the states, but the brief was, how can we benchmark with the best? Uh-huh. All right, uh-huh. and we all know that Land Rover are the best when it comes to four by fours. Yes. So in terms of how do we create a product that is similar looking, controversial, right. but still carries all the uh, tenets of what Toyota represents: efficiency, right. durability. Right. You know, a vehicle that uh, withstands the test of time. Yes. And that's exactly Kevin. what they did. Tenets. Yeah. Actually, to correct myself, I didn't mean the trooper. It was a, it is a patrol. Bah. Okay. That's what that's okay. that, 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 I, yeah. I see that. Yeah. I, I see that. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Okay, so, bruv. Yes. Um, that is now their Toyota philosophy. Philosophy. Now, obviously, there's somebody who's driving and, you know, can't get online to get the soft copy. Yes. He doesn't have the hard copy. And even if they do, they can't go through it. A, as far as because you are sage. Yeah. When you look at the 2023 Prado, right? yes, and you put them face to face, which is a more beautiful looking car, according to Professor? Between the 23 uh-huh. and this one, this new one that's coming out, all new 24. Prado, eh? Prado. Prado. I think I think I go with the new one. I think it represents a generational step forward. I like that for the brand. Okay. Um, because uh, you know it's very easy for you to fall back. To the conservative design, right? Because if you look backwards, right. they've been looking the same, okay, pretty much for yeah, the last yeah, ten years. True. Okay, so everybody will be stuck in the comfort zone. But yeah. being a connoisseur, a but sage, yes, yes, the business, yes, I love the fact that Toyota have changed, because change is good as a rest, right? So that design will grow on people. Why? Just yeah, because it was benchmarked on the Defender. I like that. Now uh, we've mentioned the Defender, bro. Yes. So uh, first of all. Um, I know early on we said that as soon as uh, outside looks totally different. Yeah. And you'd assume because we're going a hybrid, da, 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 yeah. uh, uh, and you know, you get very technical. But let now just describe the inside, my brother. Because you said, hey. you also said that's, <laughs> you see. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Exclamation. I, I know everybody who's been <laughs> in a Prado, I know most of you. Yes. Have you ever seen the dashboard yes. or the interior of a yes. Prado? Yes. And, um, you, it was you bland. Have, to yes, be honest, yes. It was very bland. In fact, you described it as a what Toyota? A, 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 it, it was a Corolla four x four. It was a Corolla four x four. Without being without being biased to anything. Yes, yes, yes. But Toyota have changed because they are a company that is far thinking. Bus. So the interior yes. is gone lips and mouth. It's bigger, fast, it's wider. Right. The dashboard sits further away from the from the, the driver and bus, the passenger to create bus. an illusion of space. Bus. Uh, there's a massive screen there. We call it a uh, floating tablet style design. Come on. Twelve inch. Come on. 12 inches big, eh? Yeah. Big. Yes. You know 12 yes. inches? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, like vinyl. Yes. Or anything yes. else that yes. is. Yes, yes, yeah, 12 inches. Now, that screen is high resolution. <laughs> high yeah. res. Yeah. It's, it's high res, yeah. like full HD mm-hmm. quality. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can pair your phone using Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Basically, the phone becomes an extension of the screen. Wow. So you don't need to take your hands bus, off. Bus. So you can do your maps. Yes. You can read messages. Yes. yes. You, can, you, can, you can even answer right. the phone for you right. and send messages and emails. All right, okay. making Brilliant. it more practical. Brilliant. Internet. Wow. Because we're in the 21st century. Yes, yes. 5G connectivity. Right. Standard. So it, it right. creates a hotspot yes. for everyone. Yes. All right. Right. So very 
practical. Yes. Um, the seats. Yeah. They've taken special attention to the seats because the seats in the previous Prado are not comfortable. Right. Yeah. In fact, at the back. Yes. If you notice many washimuas. Well, you sit in the front. You have to sit in the front. Yes. Because the seats were bench like. Yes. But now they've come up with very comfortable. They, we call it um, ergonomically designed That's to the fit the, yes. the, the backbone of right. the body. Right. Right. All right. Right. Good uh, padding. Yes. The shoulder room was also a problem. Uh -huh. You couldn't sit, sit three people across. Because yes. your, your yes. shoulders, you know. Yes. Yes. So then they really tried to create the space. Right. Leg room is good. Yes. Um, in terms of creature comforts, you right. know, power windows. Yes. You have a full panoramic sunroof that runs all the way to the back. Wow. So light comes in. Wow. Again, yes. they've thought about yes. every single Everything. thing. Spice.